Hi guys, welcome to another tying session. I'd like to share a little technique with you that I learned from a guide friend of mine in Montana some years ago. Uh, it's a hackle stack technique. It's something that I actually started using quite a bit since he showed it to me and uh, kind of replaced the parachutes on many of my flies with, with this technique. Uh, it was shown to me by Tom Travis, uh, he guides in, out of Livingston in Montana on the Yellowstone River and Yellowstone National Park and those, those places. Um, I'm, I'm not sure who the originator of the technique is though. But it's, uh, definitely, it's definitely one of the more effective techniques that I've learned in my years of tying flies. And there are many, many advantages to this technique. Uh, now you still need a base or a, a stem or something to, to wrap the hackle around. Um, in this case I'm using uh, about a 4 or 5x monofilament tippet material. And you, I double it tight on top of the hook and wrap that, uh, tie that nice and tight and secure that on top of the hook. I'm only tying a, uh, showing the technique, I'm not tying a specific flyer. Um, and discussing the technique a little bit, that's, um, that's the purpose of this video. And so you've got a, a double strand of nylon on top of the hook and then you need a, a hackle to, to match that size hook. But the nice thing about this technique is because the hackle um, also imitate the wings. You can use different size hackles on on the um, on the hook. So if I want a bigger wing, imitate a bigger wing, I'd use a bigger hackle. If I want to imitate a smaller wing, I use a smaller hackle on the same fly. Because these things, when they when they hatch, uh, mayflies and those, they they often they'll 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 drift in the uh, surface film, and you'll slowly see the wings open up. And in other words, the, the, the fly grow larger, the profile of the fly grow larger. And to imitate those different stages, uh, you use a different size hackle. And it's, it's, it actually works very well. Uh, and, and it's very buoyant, this, uh, using this technique. I find it kind of better than, than a, a normal parachute technique. And I've converted many of my flies to to the parachute te to this technique rather than using the, the parachute technique I just find that it, it just sits better on the water and it, it stays afloat for, for quite a bit longer as well now you need to use a very good quality hackle I'm using whiting hackle uh, these are actually dry fly saddles and uh, it's, it's, it's very important to use a good quality hackle if you want to get the fly to stay afloat for, for longer. But this, this technique specifically requires good quality hackle. Uh, so you tie the hackle in right next to the two strands of monofilament. And then you wrap it around the monofilament. You keep the monofilament vertical. Pull it tight upwards. In the upwards position. And then start to wrap the hackle with tight wraps upwards and you need to you need to cover enough monofilament to cover the area that you want to pull it over so so in other words I need to cover a little bit more because I'm going to be pulling it forward so I'll make a few more wraps Let's see that's about it and then once you get there you start to wrap it downwards. And you overlap. And this creates a very nice and tight um, wing that will keep that fly dry. It will keep water off the fly and get that fly to sit in the position that you want it to sit. You can let go of the of the nylon. That's that's pretty secure if you let go of that. You take your thread back, 
You'll notice I made some open wraps to the front just to get the thread out of the way. And you just unwind those and you're at the right spot where you want to tie the, uh, the, the hackle off. Tie that hackle off right there. And you're always going to trap a few of those bobs. But that's not a problem, we're not done with the wing yet. Secure that with one or two wraps of thread and trim that excess hackle away. Now you can pull those bobs back and just secure the hackle, make sure that hackle is well secured. Cut those two bobs away. Once you've got the hackle secured, you need to finish the thorax before you're going to pull the hackle over. And I normally, for my flies, I like to, t to use a, a very fine synthetic dubbing. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using a, a honey coloured trilobal dubbing. It's a, also a grip product. It's a very fine synthetic dubbing. And you just wrap the roll that onto the thread. Make sure you you apply a very thin layer. It's always better to to apply more later. But apply a very thin layer on the thread. It will help you to build a nice well profiled thorax pull that thread that hackle away and start to wrap that now uh, this is pretty secure you can um, you can you can pull it away. It won't come off. It's it's tied in on both ends of the hackle, and that won't come off the monofilament. So you can you've got enough time and to finish that thorax. Just remember to leave enough space in the front to finish the fly off. I've seen so many times that guys tie these beautiful flies and they get to the to work finishing it. Or tying the last step in, there's not enough space to do that. Uh, pull this, pull the hackle, the, the, the monofilament up again, and then just brush those bobs back. And then pull the monofilament over the thorax and just lay it down on top of the, of the dubbing thorax. And then you secure that right there. Now that will sit right there. You can secure that with a few wraps of thread. Then cut the monofilament away and finish the head. This is normally the last step of the fly, depending on how and where you use the technique. I've used it in, in some flying ants, both for the abdomen and the the the, the thorax. Work quite well, but um, that is the technique. And now you can see how this technique will keep that fly afloat. You can tie abdomen onto that fly. Uh, there is a video on uh, a hackle stack emerger that I'm tying with a goose bite abdomen that you can check out. Very successful flies, you can tie it in various colors. I tie it in March Brown colors, I tie it in Blue Winged Olive, um, in uh, Blue Duns, uh, various colors. And they work very well, these, um, these flies. And I definitely believe that this technique is better than the parachute technique. So give it a go, try it out. Please like the video, please follow the channel and keep an eye out for more techniques and flies.